foothold foothold caught coyote here unfortunately and uh, yeah he managed to get in here get his foot in and uh, just there's a gotta go check that snare right there yet too walked right by it because I saw this guy alive here um, so yeah I'll just uh, quickly go and get him dispatched and then uh, we'll come and fetch him. This is the uh, trail set where uh, Cheryl's working the camera here today, and we were and I was talking to her about it, and I and I've done this in the past, but what I did is I tried to set where there was a trail on the outskirts of the tree line, 
But when it started snowing, I was never walking there. I always just kept on adjusting the tr the uh, snare above the depth of the snow. But they never they never used that again. So this year, what I did is uh, I've kept on walking this little trail. I just kind of loop into the trees, and it's the second coyote now that we've caught there. So I'll just stroll in there and get him out of the snare and reset this. So right there, you can see the chin lift stick and this little tiny little bit of debris. I always, I like it so much when they take and they jump out of the way and they don't take and make a mess of everything. And it's not that a guy can't, it's not about uh, doing the work. It's just a matter of, you know, when they wreck it up hard enough, it, you know what I mean? Like it changes the whole scenery of everything. So where once a coyote really liked to take a walk through there, all of a sudden they might not like it so much. Very nice coyote. You know, it's not necessarily that a white belly and a bushy tail is what fetches you a good price at market, but they all they are uh, they are easily tattletale signs that do take and help at a glance at telling a guy uh, what kind of value this fur actually has. But uh, that right there, that's where the money is. You can see that's a really nice furred kite. He's going to look really nice. No problems with his shoulder. Nice and thick. Very typical colored coyote. She's going to be good. All right. Well, that's what I wanted. I wanted to catch a couple ah, on this check, and we got them. Okay, let's see. We'll try to not, not do too much more than what we had here in the past. And again, <clears throat> I took and lost my spring setters yesterday. Retraced my steps, but I was walking in tall grass, tall grass, and willows so I could have it could have caught a willow off of my pants and dropped it six feet away from me I went back I tried to find it and she was no dice so these snares I could have built these a little cheaper well mind you just without the trigger the spring will still be an effective tool once you uh, once you end up with the kite that gets back in the snare here. I don't mind that for height, but what I need is, I need that guy. That's what we need. Right there, we'll take and we'll put another one right there that is a really nice set I might take it yeah, squeeze them up a tiny bit there we go don't want them stepping through there all right let's keep going Cherry. let's catch some more Forty-five pound coyote right there on a seventy-two inch stretcher 
And for me, I kind of looked at that and I figured, well, like that's going to be a, I mean, it's a big coyote out here in central Alberta. But uh, the reality is for him to end up being, you know, five or six inches short of that 72 inch stretcher it was a testament to uh, how fat he was it's crazy crazy fat coyote like all over from his neck down from his mouth down he was fat he was fat Fat as hog. Like, I'm telling you, this thing had found its food, but a great coyote. Um, I can't wait to turn him over tomorrow. He's going to be a beauty. I skinned a whole crap load of coyotes here today. Uh, uh, really excited. Uh, just turned into December here just now. And, uh, oh man, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. There's so much trapping that's going to happen. We're going to be catching Martin. We're going to be catching wolves. And, um, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let's keep her going. Kind of an interesting set right here. I normally take my, uh, my snares and anchor them. Uh, anchor my tie wire off the tree, but... I didn't have anything handy. So I saw a little trick there on uh, YouTube where Buddy took and used a tool to just pound a, a number nine wire. And uh, I didn't really have to do too much. It was kind of a, there was a little bit of uh, brush right there. So yeah, pretty happy with that set. Might just take and tighten that loop up a tiny bit. There we go. Look at that. Bang. That's a dead coyote every time. He comes on that trail. That's it. <gasps> oh man, brand new bait. Brand new bait, brand new coyotes. They're going down. I'm checking uh, quite a few spots, so I uh, figured I'd, uh, yeah, I'll keep this baby rolling here today and uh, see how we make out. I did set on a couple of uh, new baits yesterday, so kind of excited to see what, uh, what I might find. So here we go. Awesome, here we go. Here's coyote number one. got himself tangled up a little bit. Settled in nice. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. He looks really nice from what I can see right here. There. Awesome. Look at that. That was a nice looking coyote right there. Awesome. Nice big adult. Cool. 
Alrighty. Well, here we've got coyote number two. Coyote number two on an, uh, this was an overnight set here on this bait. So everything looks pretty good. Don't see anything here that I don't like. Pretty pumped about this spot. Just look at those tracks. Just highways in here. Well, I'll take him, pull him out of there, and uh, we'll keep on rolling. Second coyote of the day. Pretty pumped about today. Looks like she's going to be a good yield on coyotes. Here's another nice catch. Here's my, uh, this is actually where the snare was, right here. And uh, I just took this little stick right here and I placed it there so they didn't walk. And he went uh, a long ways from the uh, from the snare site, so that's good. From what I can tell, he looks good. I'll get some tools and pull him out. Coyote number three. Well, here's coyote number four. And he, uh, jeepers, he struggled more than I wanted. But that's what happens when it's heavy tangle. They sometimes they just don't close as quick and as good as you like, but uh, at any rate, he's there. And he's uh, neck caught. He finished up with that snare in his mouth. And coyote number four is in the books. Kaboom! Here's coyote number five on the day. I really like this set. A heavy trail right through this super fine scrub. And a nice, nice looking coyote again there. And boom, you just see that. I mean, it's just such a, it just obscures the snare so well. Really glad he went over there and tangled and didn't wreck my set. All right, number five. Here's coyote number six on the day. Right there, that's where I had the snare set up. Nothing has moved. So that's nice. He jumped out of the way. Made a little bit of a mess here, but uh, that right there is a nice big coyote. Big, big. Well, that's good, he ended up right at the end of it. All right. Here's coyote number seven on the day. <clears throat> nice looking coyote. I've got another snare right there underneath those branches. Just got him out of, out of range of this one, so. Oh man, oh. I'm super pumped. What an awesome day so far. I got a couple more snares right here to check. But, uh, what was that? One, two, six. Yeah, this is coyote number seven. All right. Let's get him out of the snare and keep on rolling. <laughs> 